This whole thing about rookie punter of the Bills, Matt Areza or Ariza or whatever his name is, and how like I think he was playing in a preseason game against either the Colts or Denver, and he like made like this ridiculously amazing punt that went like a hundred million yards. He was called like the punt god or something like that. So he was like in social media because of that. Well. Recently, it came out that he was accused of gang R-wording, because I don't want to really say that online because I don't want to trigger anybody, uh, or like sexually assaulting a minor at a party in San Diego. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read this. This is, I guess this is what the Bills put out or something like that, um, just to... Give a little bit of context about what this guy did. Um, so Bill's rookie punter being accused of gang sexually assaulting a minor at an off-campus party last year. The lawsuit claims that upon arriving to the party, Matt Ariza, or Ariza, who lived at the home, gave a 17-year-old a drink. She believes the drink not only contained alcohol, but other intoxicating substances. So... She was roofied, is what she believes. The teen told Areza or Ariza she was a high school student, and he told her to perform um, a sexual act um, before having a sexual act with her outside. Areza or Ariza then took her to a bedroom where at least three other men threw her down on the bed face first and assaulted her. For an hour and a half, the teen stumbled out of the room bloody and crying. Her nose, belly button, and ear piercings had been pulled out, and she was also bleeding from her nether region. As soon as she escaped, she told her friends that it happened. She was taken to the hospital and underwent extensive exams, which everybody tells you that's exactly what you should do. Uh, told the police about it. Uh, the request of the police, she made pretext calls recording by detectives with the men named in the lawsuit. Areza confirmed on the call that he uh, assaulted a minor and recommended she get tests for diseases. At the request of the detective, she asked him, "And did you have an actual? Did we have? A did we do it actually?" Ariza or Ariza changed his tone and replied, "This is Matt Ariza or Ariza. I don't remember anything that happened last night before hanging up." Sources confirmed that the Bills knew about the allegations by July 31st, per an email between the Bills and the victim's attorneys. They cut the punter. Uh, Matt Hack and named Ariza or Ariza the starter in, in uh, August 22nd anyway. So this is problematic. And it's problematic on a huge level. If the Buffalo Bills knew about this, then shame on them. Just absolute shame. Especially with what happened with Deshaun Watson these teams need to be super diligent about who they're bringing onto the team because, like, some of these dudes, you know, they face whatever punishment they need to face, whether it be, like, domestic violence or anything like that. And I don't believe that anybody who has done domestic violence as an adult should be allowed to be in the NFL personally. But... The fact of the matter is that this happened last year. This happened during the school year. Uh, it doesn't really give me a date, per se, of when this happened. But if this happened before the draft, and the Buffalo Bills claim that they did not know about it, then I call BS. And the reason why I call BS is because there are a lot of players who are drafted where they're like, oh, the doctor says that they're injured, so I'm not going to draft them. Or uh, they had this and this and that happen in their past. I'm not going to draft them. 
either the either they're lying or the Bills have the worst scouting department in the NFL. It's absolutely shameful that this organization, the Buffalo Bills, turn their head for this stuff. And what's even more sickening, now I get it, like no one's been charged yet. They're they're still probably investigating this. Shame on the police as well because sometimes the police are super slow about this. But it's just sickening to kind of see people be like this allegedly happened especially bills fans to just say like this allegedly happened and then other bills fans be like you're either supporting us or you're not supporting us it's like things are higher on the totem pole than just football and and this is one of those things so shame on the bills for keeping this guy for an extra month if they knew that he had done this, um, I don't think that that this is something that they c- can come back from because I personally believe that they knew about this the whole time, much like the Houston Texans knew about the Deshaun Watson thing the whole time and just didn't say anything because they didn't want to say anything. A lot of these coaches and a lot of these organizations value winning over doing the right thing. Let me just tell you one thing, right? I hate losing. I hate losing. Losing sucks. Okay, anybody who's ever lost will know how much losing sucks. But if you win and you substitute your honor, if you substitute your conscience, if you substitute your common sense, for winning, if you trade those things in to be a winner, then you're not a winner. You're a loser. Okay. They were culpable for 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 parading this guy around and keeping him on an NFL roster until they got caught. That's not the right thing to do. That's horrible. And I don't hate the Bills, right? I think that the Buffalo Bills organization is one of those organizations whose fans and whose organization deserves a championship. After years of being sucky, four years straight of losing a Super Bowl, I think this is a likable organization. But here's the fact of the matter. You substituted your common sense you substituted, likely substituted your conscience and doing the right thing in for winning. And I don't know if you can come back from that. It's just absolutely sickening. And you, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Every single member of that organization who is not a player, who is a coach, who is uh, in the management positions especially, Those people should be ashamed of themselves if they knew that this happened.